my name is Hilary Mulek. I am a wedding photographer based in the North Carolina area, and uh, this is my YouTube channel, and thank you so much for watching. On today's episode, I'm gonna be talking all about client albums. I actually have a client album here that I'm gonna show you and show you what they look like, what I deliver to my clients, and then in an upcoming episode, I'm gonna be talking about how I design these albums. I think providing print products such as client albums to your clients are a great way to provide extra income, provide that extra source of income for your business, and then also provide something really beautiful so that your wedding clients can preserve their favorite wedding photos in an album for years and years to come. So I actually order all of my client albums through Miller's. I will link that down in the description below. Each of the albums, unless you decide to upgrade to a different kind of box, but each of the albums come in this fabric box. This is a 10 by 10 album right here. And I really love ordering my client albums from Miller's. I've tried a few different album companies and I've landed on Miller's because they are super affordable for a really beautiful, expensive book. So I think the price is awesome. They have lots of beautiful cover options from linens to leathers to suede to velvets. So my clients get lots of different options when it comes to the cover. And uh, these books are really durable, really substantial. They all have these lay flat pages where the image goes across the seam in the middle. And I like to get the thick pages. Another thing I really like about Miller's is the shipping is super fast. I can literally order an album and have it drop shipped to a client and it'll get to them within a few days, like two to five days, which is crazy. It's crazy how fast it is, which I love and my clients really love as well. So some things about my client albums, like I said, this is the 10 by 10 client album. And I, in my packages, for the 10 by 10 album include 15 spreads, which is 30 pages, 15 different spreads. And then in my 12 by 12 albums, which are just a little bit bigger than this, I provide 40 pages, which is 20 spreads that I will design for them. And I send, after I deliver the full gallery over to my clients, I send them over a separate brochure through HoneyBook. HoneyBook is my client management system. So I send them a separate brochure that talks about all the that talks all about the heirloom album that is in their package so it tells them how to pick images i have this big lengthy explanation on how you want your album to tell a story and even though i think a lot of clients they love the portraits the most in their wedding i don't want their entire album to be just portraits after portraits after portraits so i encourage them that the album is a great way to tell a story of their wedding day so if as they are picking their favorite images to have put in the album, I want them to look at each section of the day from the getting ready to the portraits, family photos, ceremony, cocktail hour, reception, making sure to include details as well as candid moments as well as portraits. And I have them select about 120 images. And then I don't put 120 images in here, but I just like some options when I'm designing so that I have a good amount of images to choose from and then depending on the type of images that are their favorites I will design that the layout of the album with that in mind and I can usually include most of the photos but I usually don't include all 120 and my clients have been totally fine with that so I kind of want to show you this album this is one of my clients from this spring, they ordered a beautiful linen option. And like I said, this is the 10 by 10, so there's 15 spreads. All of the pages are super thick, which is great. The first spread is always black. And then I personally, when I'm designing, I like to have the first picture in their album to be one of their favorite horizontal portraits. And I like to do just a full spread of this. So this is one of them on the dock. And then next we have all of their, the bride's getting ready photos. The bride did a first look with her bridesmaids and then 
a portrait on the stairs, and then we do the guys getting ready here. Some portraits of all of the groomsmen and the groom here. The bride also picks some photos of the first look with her dad, some portraits of her family, because she also did a first look with her brothers as well. This is the some portraits of the bride, her bridesmaids. Here's a spread of their ceremony, and this is only four pictures of their entire ceremony. Yeah, because the next spread is family pictures. So this is only four pictures of their entire ceremony, but these were just the moments that spoke to them the most, that, that, that were their favorites of the ceremony. So her walking down the aisle, him watching her walk down the aisle, and then them cheering after they got married. I feel like I'm doing a like children's reading time by showing you guys this. But the next spread is their family. Then I have their wedding party here with uh, some portraits with them in their wedding party. Their dog came to the wedding, so we did. A bit, I did it, I designed a big page with their dog. Here are just a, some of their favorite portraits in front of their venue. The next spread is a few of their favorite portraits on the dock. The spread after that, we have one detail photo of the reception, and then the rest are um, their first dance, parent dances, reactions to speeches. And then usually in the last couple spreads, when they're picking a lot of photos that are dance photos or just like candid photos, I will just do like a big collage of these. So this is a big collage of like family members and their cake cutting, a big extended family picture here. And then we have just like a bunch of moments on the dance floor that I put over there. And then the very last spread, I just have their exit. So this is them doing their private last dance on the dance floor and then their dip and kiss with the sparklers and then driving away in their vintage car. And then same as the beginning, the last spread is just a really beautiful seamless black. So that is the whole client album here. And that's how I typically design all of my albums. I just get all of their favorites and I put them into my album design software that I have. I can do a future video to show you actually how I design these albums, design the layouts and everything. But basically I have them pick 120 images. I use those images to pick and see, depending on what they picked, to design the layout. And then like I said, that's typically how I design the layout with most of my albums, starting with a big spread at the beginning and then ending with some big collages of all the candid moments at the reception. And then if they did do an exit, I'll try and do a spread on its own of their exit. If you have any more questions about my client albums and uh, how I order them and just, just any questions in general, make sure to put those in the comment section down below and I will answer those. And then in a future video, if you want, I can design a client album for you so you can kind of see the program that I use and just how easy it is. I feel like the hardest thing when I was thinking about offering client albums was how am I supposed to design this? This just seems really complicated. I think when I very when I very first started my photography business a decade ago, a lot of people, a lot of other photographers were designing client albums in Photoshop, which just sounded really overwhelming to me. And then they would have to come up with their own layouts. And I don't do any of that now. It literally is so fast and so easy for me to design these client albums. And then when I order them through Miller's, they are beautiful, durable, and they get shipped so, so fast, which are just the top three things that are so important with client albums. And my clients have been really happy with them. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye, guys.